Hey boys and girls, here we are at 116A. All right, the first thing you need to do is draw your eight centimeter line segment. All right, and now I have to measure that line segment and it is four centimeters. And don't forget your name and date, please. All right. Kyle tallied the number of children who wore green. How many children wore green? Well, we have to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's how many uh, wore green. Twice as many wore green as yellow. Twice as many. Do you know what I have to do when it says twice as many? So more people wore green than yellow. So yellow is going to be a smaller number. So that would be nine because nine plus nine is 18. It's the first time we've done one of those problems. All right, it says show 453 on the clock. 53, it's getting close to five o'clock. So I am going to draw my hour hand close to the five, but not there yet. 53, I know the 10 is 50. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three. And that would be 453. Number three, draw three baskets. One, two, three. Draw four oranges in each basket. Here are my four oranges. And how many oranges did you draw? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It would be twelve. And if you wanted to write a multiplication sentence for that, it would be 3 times 4 equals 12. Number 4 says, draw a small square to show the right angle in the triangle. So remember, when you think of a right angle, think of the letter L. And you can help, you can have, use a piece of paper to help you. So I'm going to use one of these. Could this be a right angle? No. How about this one down here? Well, no, that doesn't work because this line is going up. But if I look at this line, is this an L right here? Yeah, so that would be our right angle for the triangle. Okay, so I need to draw out my coins. I have two quarters one dime, three nickels, and four pennies. So 25, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. 79 cents. And you can write it this way or the other way with the dollar sign, but it didn't tell you to do it both ways. Use the correct symbol. Okay. So we need it to equal, it says it's going to equal 8. So what would I put here to equal 8? Well, if I put plus... 4 plus 2, that's only 6. If I did subtraction, 4 minus 2, well, that's 2. But if I did 4 times 2, is 4 times 2 8? Yes, it is. So that's why I need a multiplication sentence there. All right, so now it needs to equal 7. Well, let's start with the addition. 2 plus 5. Oh, there we go, right away. 
I know that that is addition. I have some subtraction problems and some addition problems. 6 minus 2, there's more on the top, don't stop. 6 minus 2 is 4. 8 minus 7 is 1. 14. 1 minus 7, there's more on the floor, go next door, borrow 10 more. 4 becomes a 3, 1 becomes an 11. 11 minus 7 is 4, and 3 minus 1 is 2, 24. Now I have an addition problem, 621 plus 189, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry the 1, bring down the 0, 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11, carry the 1, bring down the 1, 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8, 8, 10. My last one I have is money, $3.79 plus $2.43. 9 plus 3 is 12. Carry the 1, bring down the 2. 7 plus 4 plus 1 is 12. Carry the 1, bring down the 2. Bring down my decimal point. 3 plus 1 plus 2. Is six and I need my dollar sign six dollars and twenty two cents all right boys and girls you have 116 B for homework remember name and date please and then you need to do your 116 B facts see you tomorrow for math